Welcome back to Political Capital, the intersection of money and politics. I'm Karabolechad. As the country prepares for the national funeral of Nomzamo Winnie Madigizela Mandela, her legacy remains part of a national narrative of contestation, what kind of person and leader she was. I feel that the totality of what is coming out about, about Mama Wene uh, is uh, that she was a human being, a real human being, but a leader in the African National Congress, a very strong woman, and somebody who was um, a part of Nelson Mandela's life, and, 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 and somebody who uh, Nelson Mandela himself would say was part of uh, his life as well. Mm. Uh, somebody who was liked uh, by the people across the board. Somebody who also wanted to mm. identify with people. I think um, in a comprehensive way that's, that's the story that comes. Uh, of course being. Mr. Mitrano, yeah. April as it's been often said is slowly becoming a hero's month in uh, the African National Congress with the passing, well, the commemoration of the passing of Solomon Matlangu. Then, of course, Mama Wini, followed by the commemoration of Chris Hani. And now we've just also learned of uh, the passing of uh, Dr. Zola Skweia. How, how do we remember Zola Skweia, considering the amount of work that the man had done for constitutionalism within the African National Congress, but also, you know, during the pivotal Codessa negotiations that led us to this democracy that we enjoy today? In, in Comrade Zola, we, we've lost a giant um, uh, in, the, in the legal circles of the African National Congress. Uh, right from the time when he was in exile up to when he came back for negotiations, his participation during Codessa talks, and then the birth of the new constitution of uh, uh, South Africa. Mm. Uh, and, and, and he had a touch in all these things. Mm. He was a, a, one of the very sharp minds uh, in the African National Congress, yet somebody who had a passion, mm. somebody who was very principled and very grounded, especially in, the, in constitutionalism and, and in the life of the, of, of, of the African National Congress, ethically, mm. morally, one of the shining minds. But of course, the passing of these two giants in Mama Wini and Dr. Skweia, bring to fold the, the problems that exist within the movement. We cannot shy away from what is happening within the movement. Uh, Mama spoke uh, passionately about, about uh, uh, corruption and how she felt that uh, the moral compass of the African National Congress was slowly uh, dissipating, while Dr. Skweia was also part of the veterans that wanted a consultative conference with the African National Congress. The African National Congress uh, Band of Unity surely cannot hold right now with what you are currently faced with. I was in KZN uh, for the president's trial, and it does not seem like the ANC is speaking in one voice. To me, it seems like there's an ANC that's in KwaZulu-Natal, and then there's another ANC, which is the rest of the national uh, layout. Is it true? Not necessarily. <coughs> But, um, uh, or, or shall I say, not exactly. I, I would say, though, there are people not necessarily confined in KZN, uh, maybe uh, in other parts of the country, who uh, have problems of their own, uh, uh, but are part of the African National Congress. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying so because uh, there would be people who would uh, want to deny that um, or, or not accept that we have a new president. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> people who might uh, still want this or that uh, grievance, if, 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 if I could call it that, and therefore seek to um, um, uh, uh, kind of indicate that in the African National Congress uh, <clears throat> we're not united, there's this and that problem. But actually, when you get down to saying, what are these divisions? It's not about the core values of the African National Congress. It's not about ideology. It's about personalities. It's about smaller personal agendas mm -hmm. or group agendas. But why is KZN, which is a province that you used to be the chairperson of, of the African National Congress, yeah. you were the premier of the province, yeah. why is 
KZN such a hotbed for ANC politics? And why is it continuously so volatile? I mean, when I was there, I was told that as early as the next NEC meetings by some of the comrades in your own organization, that they will be calling for a motion of no confidence against the new president of the African National Congress. That's barely five months on the job. It's, it's, uh, it's these rumors um, that, and we're calling it that at the moment, that are, are a concern to us uh, as the ANC that, uh, and as the NEC that there seem to be some people who are, you know, sowing these seeds, uh, throwing these this, uh, uh, things of the NGC, uh, uh, rallying behind uh, uh, Zuma, and we don't know. It's one thing to support somebody who has a case of his own uh, in, in court. Mm -hmm. But it's another one that seems to be uh, indicating something beyond just supporting somebody. You see, Mike Mabiakulu also appeared in court mm -hmm. on that day, mm -hmm. and, and, and he was with no one. He was, he was alone. So if it were a principle of supporting uh, comrades when they go to court for their cases, we would see that. But uh, um, uh, we're worried about this, but we're watching it and, and looking at, at this development or, uh, around uh, the Zuma cases. Mm -hmm. Uh, seemingly going beyond uh, what they are and, and so on. I mean, I spoke to NEC member Sile uh, yeah. the day prior to this uh, court appearance, and okay. he spoke to me about regalia, that the NEC said no regalia, but there was nothing but regalia at the, the court uh, steps. All, there was a lot of people clad in ANC colors, and therefore the association that, you know, ANC is also on trial with its president, right? You, 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 you would agree with me that the ANC is only on an organization uh, which you join voluntarily. It, it has no police. Uh, it, it, it says, look, <clears throat> Jacob Zuma has been charged by, uh, for, I mean, by NPA for this and that, and that case. We don't want to look like uh, any of the cases for which he has been uh, charged. Mm -hmm. We don't want to look like uh, any of the allegations uh, against him as alleged by NPA. And therefore, don't go there <coughs> with uh, ANC colors, uh, even though we know you, you're an ANC member. But we don't want the organization to look like it is also in court. But then people go on to do that. Uh, uh, the, the, the issue here is, uh, uh, that we, we, you, you can suddenly go there and arrest all those who are wearing ANC regalia, but this is a firm position of the ANC that when we support those comrades who find themselves in such difficulties, don't necessarily go there with ANC regalia. Uh, because it might send the wrong message. I think most people would be looking for consequences to what happens to those members that have gone there in ANC regalia. But let's move it along. Your new position. Most people were expecting you to take up a government post, but you are now full-time at Lutuli House as head of organizing for the party. Yes. As you have intimated yourself that the ANC, that there are elements within the ANC that are not necessarily uh, fully behind the new leadership, if you will, how, are you, how easy of a job is it going to be to organize the ANC for the 2019 elections? And is there a chance that the ANC could be a, a backbench party in parliament come 2019? I, I I, I was uh, in um, in um, uh, Bizan mm -hmm. uh, preparing for the this commemoration that we held yesterday, addressed by the president, and I arrived there on Saturday, um, and and I was there f for the full day on Sunday, full day on uh, Monday, mm -hmm. interacting with comrades, even going to uh, going to town to bleeds, listening to people, and so on. And the turnout there, uh, I was told, um, well, when I arrived, uh, the comrades were speaking about uh, 10,000, the maximum of 10,000 people, or minimum of 10,000 to attend. <clears throat> then I said to them, look, I would not be pleased with uh, 10,000. I would be pleased with at least the, the, the double figure. And I was told that we went beyond 20,000. I would say, just looking at that mm -hmm. and, and, and the conversation I had with uh, ordinary people there, 
people still have faith in the African National Congress. They like the ANC, they identify with the African National Congress. I wouldn't say just at Mbizani alone. I would say uh, catching, t taking that maybe as a picture. So I, I, I think we, yes, we have a, 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 we have a hard work to do in the next few months. But at the same time, um, so we're not taking for granted that the ANC is just going to cruise. It needs hard work. Uh, but at the same time, um, uh, we, we, we are aware of the challenges uh, that we are facing there. But the ANC is not about to, to take any of the backbenches. Some say you it's can't my, relate. Very much in front. Some say that you can't relate to the youth, that you're losing the youth vote because the youth cannot relate to the current ANC and its values. Yes, uh, I think we, we, we've had a gap in terms of relating uh, the history of the African National Congress to young people and make them appreciate that they are where we are uh, because of the work that the ANC has done. You may be adverts at university, you may be coming from a step up, your, your, your dad may be uh, this and that, uh, but we haven't been strong enough in making sure that young people understand and identify with the African National Congress. And, and, and there's also been intervening uh, ugly things or negative things about the ANC in the past. Yes, these are things that we need to overcome so that we reach out for young people and say to them, this is your part. Young people in KZN will be looking at the forthcoming provincial uh, uh, conference. Yes. Do you think it will go smooth or are we in for more contestation, more, more of the I same? I ideally, ideally, we, we would uh, have had enough time uh, as comrades in the province uh, to part ways with everything that uh, has happened up to now, especially from, from 2012, mm. uh, particularly from 2013 up to now. Mm. Uh, 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 but realistically, uh, there are still this and that, and, and therefore that's why the ANC, the NEC has said, hold, hold, uh, um, hold on in terms of uh, a regional and provincial conference until we do a comprehensive assessment to see whether uh, the province, whether this and that region are actually ready uh, to go to such conferences. And, and we're looking at unity, we're looking at renewal. Uh, is there, are there signs of a renewed and, 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 and determined organization yeah, in terms of unity and so on? When I was in case and I could not help but hear how unpopular you and uh, Mr. Begi Kele are in your home province of KZN. Are you surprised by that? Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I wouldn't know what, uh, uh, what you came across mm -hmm. and, and at what spot uh, you were. That's not our reading. Mm -hmm. uh, about, that's not my reading about Peggy mm -hmm. uh, in looking at the province broadly. I, 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 I don't want to talk about myself. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't know who is popular. Uh, you may be there, uh, met a group, and uh, you would say Zuma is popular. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Mr. Mkuna, okay. I thank you for your thank time. You thank, thank, you. You. thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for being with us on this episode of Political Capital. Remember, CNBC Africa will be covering the national funeral of Winnie Matikizela Mandela this Saturday live as it happens from Orlando Stadium until the burial site. From us here on Political Capital, we'll see you on Tuesday.